I am Alex Dedman and this is Subaru Off-Road YouTube channel. The Kreb track is one of the most notorious tracks in northern Queensland and we are about to be the first vehicle to attempt the track after it legally opened for the 2021 season. They say do not even think about trying this track in the rain. Well, it was raining all day yesterday and it's showering on and off today so this could be interesting. Coming from the south, the first obstacle is the Daintree River. Normally this river is only deep enough to wash the tyres but today it looks very deep and flowing at a reasonable pace. It's murky, it's full of crocodiles, and without walking at first to check the depth, this is going to be one of the most terrifying crossings I have ever done. The plan is to go slow, and if the car starts to go sideways due to the current and floating, we're going to open the doors to flood it so it gets more traction. gosh he has done it in a croc infested river <laughs> okay we are about to cross the Daintree river croc Crep track croc infested and it's on the start of the prep track so it's in may so it is bloody full With the reputation of this track, we were expecting to have a lot of trouble on the climbs. In preparation, we had dropped the tyres straight down to 9 psi for maximum traction, but so far it was looking pretty good. It was at this point I noticed the rear muffler appeared to have fallen apart in the Daintree River and the car was sounding rather noisy. With absolutely no issues with traction on the first climbs, it was down to the first river crossing for the track. Oh, she's flying, Jesus. Yeah, we might have to, uh, that's the end of the line, potentially. 
actually, we'll see. The second river crossing on the Crab Track to meet it is proper deep, this one. And flowing hard. Well, the depth gauge showed 85 centimeters, which means the car was close to fully floating. A little bit of momentum we used to get through the strong current was a wise move. Crossing this river brought us to what is probably the most notorious climb on the track. Stay in the ruts, I think. Easy to stay in the ruts. Turns out the last river crossing broke the battery sense wire to the alternator. This was completely my fault as I had not left sufficient slack in the alternator loom. Tools out and it was a pretty quick fix to get the car going again. With the car repaired it was off to the next obstacle, a tree across the track. We do not carry a chainsaw so I was fully prepared to spend the next hour or so hacking at the tree with an axe, but with it getting late in the day we worked out that the car would fit under the tree if we took the tent off. Not an easy exercise but easier than chopping the tree. The next river crossing on the track was a good reminder why you should always walk at first, even if it looks like an easy crossing.
God, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> Woohoo! We were lucky enough to get a break in the weather at the top to enjoy the views. It also gave the engine a chance to cool down after the massive climb. The way down from the summit was not as challenging as the way up, but it did still have some slippery climbs and descents. So far, so good. So when you're going down these things, these drainage humps are a good place to wipe off speed if you start sliding. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. But, again, heaps of traction. Yeah, more rocks. At the end of the Kreb track you find Roaring Meg Falls which is a lovely place to camp. After a call to the traditional owners to get permission we headed in and called it a night. Roaring Meg Falls are absolutely spectacular however the traditional owners request that photos are not taken of the falls themselves but even the river and surrounding views are absolutely photo worthy. As we had already been through the Dame Tree on the Bloomfield Road a week earlier when the Kreb was still closed, we decided to head back down the Kreb to continue our journey south. The return trip was pretty similar to the way up and gave Lara some good mud driving practice.
but. <laughs> And with that, the crab track was done and dusted. First vehicle legally through for the 2021 seasons, in both directions, in the wet. Not bad for an old Subaru. Thank you.